Okay, there's the stud. And there's the water line. This is the stud finder I've been waiting for. Wow. It's like I can see through walls. Let's start this story from the beginning and learn how to use this together. But first, why a Wallabot stud finder? I'm Andrew. I'm a DIYer and a millennial. I grew up in a time where I've seen knocking on walls and the use of scanners to find studs. Since I started DIYing three years ago, I've always used a basic wall scanner. But most basic wall scanners don't differentiate between studs, water lines, and electrical. I began to think, there has to be a better technology out there. That's when I found Wallabot and decided to reach out and see if they would sponsor this video. They agreed and sent me their DIY 2 device to try. I'm super excited to give it a try. Let's see what's in the box. And it looks like it comes with a visual stud finder device. This is the piece that actually scans the wall. It's simple and clean and has smooth strips on the back to prevent wall damage. And it also comes with a protective case. Let's put this stud finder to work and I have just the project for it. But first, we're missing one part of this. It needs a mobile device to connect to. It can be used with both the iPhone and the Android. We're going with the iPhone. Let's download the mobile app and jump right into putting this device to work. Let's head upstairs and work on a little project that I've been procrastinating on. I need to install the curtain rods for this window. Something simple that the stud finder will help with, but first I need to get the mobile app set up and the stud finder calibrated. The instructions say that the most important step is the device calibration. This should only take about 30 seconds. The mobile app guided me through the whole process. Super easy and simple to set up. And now I'm ready to start scanning. The best part about this is I can visually see where the studs are and I won't mistake them for water lines or electrical wires that might be hidden in the wall. Objects are color coded, yellow for studs and purple for water lines or electrical. The device can scan objects up to four inches deep. This can be done due to Wallabot's technology. Most advanced stud finders will use magnetometers. This will detect metal which might be screws used to install drywall. The Wallabot instead uses radio frequency to provide a live view inside the wall. The stud finder is just super useful and it made this project super easy. I think it's time for a quick break while we charge our Wallabot. Let's cook up a quick snack. The nice thing about the Wallabot is it doesn't take power from the cell phone, which means the only thing draining my phone battery is Netflix. Well, I think that's enough charge on the Wallabot. Let's jump right into some final words. Overall, the Wallabot was super easy to use, even for beginners, and it has two separate modes. Images mode, which has real-time imaging of inside the wall. This helps identify stud versus pipe and electrical. It has a center line on the device, which helps mark stud centers. The second mode is expert mode, which helps detect movement. This will help detect pests. Actually, this could have been really useful for me. Back when I was working downstairs in the primary bathroom, I had something living rent free. Anyways, that's a wrap on the Wallabot DIY 2. This device is awesome for beginner DIYers to advanced professionals. I have plenty of other projects where I'm going to put this to use. To me, this is one of the most unique stud finders out there. Let me know what you think. I'll be back soon.